Couch Base. Presenting for Couch Base today is Mark Gamble, the Product and Solutions Marketing Director. And uh, Jess is going to be joining Mark for some Q&A after the presentation. So please keep those questions coming in uh, during the presentation. Mark, uh, you are on tap. You are up to bat to use uh, to mix my metaphors a little bit. Thanks so much for being here today. I am going to turn this over to you now. Great. Thanks very much. I'm really uh, uh, pleased to be here. Thanks to Actual Tech for having us. Um, I'm Mark from Couchbase, and today I'm going to be exploring Couchbase Mobile um, and our mobile capabilities and put a specific focus on the value that Couchbase Mobile brings for our customers in powering applications that are always fast, always on, always available, guaranteed. So as we dive in, um, first, to set context a little bit about Couchbase. Um, Couchbase is a cloud-native, NoSQL database that's used to power um, gigantic applications like those at LinkedIn and Tesco, Comcast, Amadeus, United Airlines, um, big enterprise customers who use us to power their critical applications. And when we describe Couchbase, it's a multi-model database, which means it's a combination of NoSQL concepts. And first, it's the processing of key value information in memory. And this is for hyper-fast responsiveness. It's how uh, our customers make their websites faster, their logins faster, their overall user experience faster. And second, it's about the distributed storage of JSON document-based data, which brings flexibility and resilience. And on top of this, add uh, full support for containerization, uh, mobile and edge capabilities, which we'll be diving into deeper here, and a full set of built-in features like SQL query support and ACID transaction support. These are things that are not typically found with document databases, um, but uh, uh, is included with Couchbase. And uh, on top of that, we add full text search, eventing, analytics. These are all... Um, capabilities for databases that our customers no longer have to bolt on from a bunch of different technologies to uh, encapsulate the entirety of their application. They can get it all with a single uh, database platform. And that is essentially Couchbase in a nutshell. Couchbase Capella is the managed version of Couchbase. And it's hosted in uh, AWS, Azure, and uh, Google Cloud. It provides a fully managed cloud NoSQL database as a service uh, for powering applications. And uh, being a cloud service, of course, brings with it all of the benefits of um, uh, as a service model. And that, that is basically taking onus off of you to install, configure, and maintain your own database environment. And uh, obviously that saves time and money and reduces risk. Capella also includes Capella app services. And these are fully managed services for synchronization, um, authentication, and access control for mobile and IoT apps. Um, app services includes a, an embedded database, which we'll be diving into today, as well as built-in cloud-to-edge synchronization. And it's ideally suited for edge and IoT applications where uh, internet can be spotty or non-existent. And the number of clients can be in the hundreds of millions of devices. This is where Couchbase Mobile plays. So to set the stage for today's topic, I, I uh, always like to start with something a little fun. And um, I'm a big classic rock fan. So I'm going to start by talking about one of my favorite classic rock songs. Um, the Who recorded a great song called Going Mobile in 1971. And it was a top 10 hit about the freedom of being able to go wherever you want, whenever you want and do whatever you want by you know being mobile and untethered to any one place and, and this is exactly the goal of a mobile application right it's to free you from desktops and wires and allow you to go out into the world and still do the things that you want and need to do you know whether it's out in the woods or in the city it's all the same to me when i'm driving free the world's my home when i'm mobile and, and you know, that's the spirit of the song, but I thought it was a really great analogy um, to what we provide for our customers' applications. And when we look at the requirements that our customers come to us with, the primary one is to delight and retain and grow app users. 
And to do this, they need to deliver great experiences, um, regardless of internet connectivity. You know, users need to know that they can rely on their applications for critical tasks and activities without losing connections or slowing down, getting that dreaded spinning please wait wheel that we all love so much. Uh, you know, we all expect apps to be available and fast or we just won't use them. Um, and we will un uninstall apps and give it a poor rating in the App Store if they fail to meet any of these requirements. And so our customers know that users um, behave in this way. And so they expect a great experience at the edge. And our customers also told us that they need to modernize their systems to gain scale and speed to meet those users' demands. But they don't want their development times wasting precious time or their development teams wasting time learning new development languages and paradigms. Right. They want to accelerate uh, the development process. And they also told us that they need the ability to deploy data processing anywhere um, necessary in order to meet security and availability um, and speed requirements for their applications. You know, not just just only in the cloud, but anywhere with the ability to synchronize data across the entire uh, ecosystem from the cloud to the edge to the device. So this encapsulates kind of those big requirements that our customers come to us with. And these are in response to the proliferation of mobile devices that are being used to conduct uh, a day-to-day -day life, right? Our customers are experiencing and trying to react uh, to user and device expansion. Everything today is expected to be online. You know, health apps monitor our condition and make recommendations. Telemedicine is replacing in-person doctor visits. And, you know, restaurants can now take orders and payment at the curbside or, or out in the parking lot. Um, factories and utilities uh, must deal with massive amounts of data generated by sensors. Now, there's an emerging model of just walk out stores being launched all over the place where the shoppers interactions are entirely digital. And built in mobile device uh, technologies like GPS and Bluetooth and NFC push notifications. These are all key enablers of these types of use cases. And the applications are overwhelmingly mobile first. So to meet the expectations and demands of users, they increasingly require higher guarantees of um, reliability and speed than can be uh, achieved with just cloud computing alone. And this is why many are turning to a decentralized um, edge computing model, trying to extend from the cloud out closer to where the data is actually happening. So the problems that Couchbase Mobile solves can really be largely rolled up into these um, core points. Speed. You know, our customers need to provide an experience that meets the demands of their users who expect apps to respond immediately. Reliability, you know, these apps need to be impervious to inherent internet slowness and outages. And security, uh, apps that handle sensitive information have to adhere to strict requirements for uh, regulations, regulatory compliance, and bandwidth usage. You know, network usage can be a choke point for apps. And shared capacity in, uh, introduces unpredictable bottlenecks. Egress charges for data in the cloud can get really expensive. So these, these really represent the core challenges that our customers face. But they also represent key benefits that customers get from Couchbase Mobile. So to explain in more detail, um, let's take a quick look at an actual customer. Um, in food and beverage, the largest brands obviously grow and stay on top by you know, keeping their shelves stocked and customers happy. Simple requirements and concept, but in some cases, you know, an aging technology stack can really make it a challenge. So PepsiCo's order to cash application serves a critical business function. Uh, it's supposed to enable sales reps and delivery staff to take and fulfill orders and deliver their products, keep chips and soda on the shelves and engage customers in the field. But the app was uh, based on 3G and unable to operate when outside of internet coverage. And that happened frequently when in remote parts of the country. And when they were out of range, you know, staff were forced to use paper, you know, get out that clipboard with all the delays and errors that go with it. And this really started to impact customer relationships. So what they needed was a way to modernize that app and remove dependencies on the internet so they could keep business flowing at top speed. So why is it that relying solely on a cloud-based data center for uh, app data can present problems? Because it, it relies entirely on the internet. So in a cloud computing architecture, apps rely solely on the cloud for data processing and computing. Um, and when the internet data center are humming along nicely, so are the apps that use them. 
But if the internet starts to slow down or something happens in the data center, so do the apps. And if the internet goes out, so do the apps, right? And that leads to costly business downtime or worse, depending on the app. So, so what's needed is a way to eliminate the internet from the equation. But for contrast, here's an edge computing architecture where red icons indicate data storage and processing. And these green lines indicate data synchronization. So in an edge architecture, the cloud database still remains uh, integral, right? It's the backend database for the app ecosystem. But here we've inserted some new layers for processing data, a database on a near proximity edge data center and da little databases embedded directly to apps running on edge devices to facilitate local data processing. And this architecture makes apps faster because the data is right where it needs to be when it has to be there, but also synchronized throughout the architecture. So uh, when we take a look at that, um, when all tiers of the architecture are running, apps work great. But if the internet goes out and the cloud data center goes out, those apps keep running because there is still alternative local data processing. Uh, and if the internet goes out altogether, the apps are unimpacted. Similarly, if an edge data center starts to suffer slowness or goes out, um, those mobile and IoT devices that have an embedded database will continue to remain available and sync data between devices 100% of the time. And this is the point, uh, is that Couchbase Mobile um, it has unique support for this type of uh, architecture. It runs in the cloud. It runs at the edge and on devices. And then this allows you to store and process data closer to the point of interaction making those apps faster and more reliable by removing internet dependencies. The data is just right there. It's closer, so it goes faster. Uh, and it's uh, also, you know, always available because you're not relying on the internet. And uh, it can also automatically synchronize data between these layers for consistency, and that's critical in a decentralized environment. So this is how we're able to provide the highest possible guarantees of speed and availability for mobile and IoT applications. So as we circle back to, you know, the solution for PepsiCo, um, Couchbase was able to deliver on all of these requirements. You know, they embedded the database directly to the app. Now it works 100% of the time. They don't even have to worry if they're connected or not. And reps and delivery staff continue to work. Um, their 30,000 app users make deliveries and place orders and manage merchandising, uh, update sales information without disruption. And data sync occurs behind the scenes when they get back in range of a connection. And this app's a cornerstone of their business and directly contributes to revenue generation and customer satisfaction. All right, uh, now let's take a look at the different pieces that make up the Couchbase mobile product stack. It's made up of three foundational components. Couchbase server, this is our flagship distributed NoSQL document database with support for you know, SQL and analytics, full text search, eventing, all the things we talked about up front. And then we have Couchbase Lite. This is the embeddable version of Couchbase for mobile and custom embedded devices. It runs directly as part of the application. And Sync Gateway, which sits in between, is responsible for secure data synchronization and routing, um, access control between mobile clients and server tiers. And these uh, capabilities can be deployed two ways. Um, fully managed with Couchbase Capella, which we ta also talked about up front. Um, but here's another unique is that you can also um, deploy self-managed. And this is where customers would install um, Couchbase themselves on public or private clouds or on a cloud edge service or on-prem. And another unique here is that uh, our customers can, you can layer these different deployment models uh, together so that you can have hybrid, you know, uh, some of it on our managed, some of it on your own cloud, some of it on-prem. These are all models that are, are uh, types of models that our customers have adopted. And Couchbase Lite for developers is um, arguably one of the most full-featured uh, developer-friendly NoSQL embedded databases on the planet. I'm a little biased, of course, but it has native support for iOS and Android and uh, Windows platforms. Uh, de uh, customers build desktop and web server apps um, using .NET and Java. 
We also support uh, the C API. This allows developers to build applications in C that run on nearly any embedded platform. Um, Couchbase Lite allows our customers' development teams to, to go faster because of JSON flexibility, right? They're not bound by a rigid relational data, uh, data source. Uh, simple to use APIs for database operations, um, SQL support, comprehensive platform and language support. And we, we can make the bold claim that, um, you know, we can support any platform, any language, and any device. So I'd like to talk about uh, uh, Couchbase customer uh, for a minute. And uh, I always like talking about Lodum. Um, this is uh, a game developing company, a game development studio, and they've been using uh, Couchbase for a while. Uh, they're a recent adopter of Capella. And that's our, of course, our cloud database as a service. And, and their use case is a great example, I think, of leveraging a distributed cloud and mobile database model that extends all the way out you know, to the apps running on devices. So the challenges that Lodum faced can really be summed up in one word, gamers, right? More, or more specifically, gamers' expectations, right? Gaming apps have to handle tons of unpredictable traffic on unreliable networks that can slow or fail at any time, right? We go into elevators, we go into subways, we go through tunnels. Um, and, you know, at the same time, games, you know, gamers expect to have seamless gameplay, like zero downtime. And any failure to provide this type of experience means abandonment. And for a game vendor, that's really, you know, the worst possible scenario. User retention is critical for games to succeed. So Lodum knew how critical it was to keep gamers happy and keep them playing, regardless of their device um, or the state of their network connection. So they turned to Couchbase Capella for the scale and speed that's really necessary to power its most popular title, Four Picks, One Word. Recommend everybody check it out. It's an addictive game. It's uh, the essence of simplicity. And once you pick it up, you can't put it down. <laughs> so it's really, um, you know, realizing that uh, uh, virality that they, they were hoping for. It's a smash hit. Hundreds of millions of downloads and counting. And its popularity is only growing. But as it grows, so does the need for global scale. So Capella um, was able to provide that. That's why Lodum uh, turned to our database as a service model and app services. And, and with that, they're actually seeing three key benefits. First, the scale to meet the demands of increasing numbers of gamers all over the world. Second, uh, the fact that Capella is developer friendly, easy to use, it supports SQL. And this means that Lodum's uh, small 35 person development team was able to adopt it and become productive really quickly. And then third, with Capella app services, um, Lodum is able to provide offline first capabilities because that Database is embedded directly to the game on all of its supported platforms. That means the gaming experience isn't interrupted by network delays or outages. And App Services is able to synchronize data between game devices and the cloud to ensure accurate stats and ranking and scores, you know, even when the player switches devices mid-game. So through this ability to distribute data processing from the cloud to the edge of the device, and automatically and securely synchronize data across a global gaming ecosystem. You know, Couchbase Capella is the cloud database that ensures Lodum games are always available and fast with or without internet connectivity. Try it out for yourself. And in fact, um, in addition to that, there's a really powerful showcase of Couchbase mobile data sync that you can um, also see for a very simple but powerful uh, demonstration. You can get the sample demo app called Simple Data Sync on the Apple App Store. Use the QR code here or search Simple Data Sync on the App Store. Download it to two or more devices and you'll be syncing data within seconds. Um, it, it really can't, couldn't be easier, so be sure to check it out. And as a wrap up, um, be sure to take advantage of the Couchbase Capella free trial. Uh, you can even you know, set up the Simple Sync demo uh, app that I just talked about to sync through the cloud using the free trial of Capella app services. So uh, some real fun there. Uh, so I wanted to uh, say thanks to all of you and to Actual Tech. And I think we're gonna uh, go ahead and open it up for some question and answer.
Yeah, absolutely. Mark, thank you so much. What an interesting presentation. Uh, that was a great walkthrough. And now I feel like I need to go find that game right away <laughs> and, uh, and get into that. I've been looking for like a nice, you know, chill kind of simple game to get into on my phone. So that, that seems you know, like that it's really fun, but beware, because it's hard to stop playing. <laughs> Mark has warned you all. So, <laughs> All right. Well, uh, we're going to get into some audience questions here. Mark, you ready to dive in? Yeah, let's hear them. Okay, let's do it. Um, I will start with this one here. How does the database handle data sync conflicts? Oh, yeah, that's a really good one, because uh, that's, you know, a fundamental conundrum in yeah. a distributed environment with, you know, a writes and reads happening. Uh, all at the same time. Um, the replication protocol for app services um, has automatic conflict res built in. And um, it's based on rules and built to resolve conflicting document changes, right? They're all, all the data stored in JSON documents. And so uh, it delivers this by applying one of its built-in conflict resolver policies, um, which can easily be included in any replication. And the goal of automatic conflict resolution is to return a um, kind of a, a winning revision, if you will, uh, based on the consistent application of the conflict resolver policy. And, and unlike other mobile database solutions, conflict um, resolution rules uh, with Caltrace Mobile can be customized to meet specific requirements. You know, this is how Caltrace is able to, to maintain complete data integrity from cloud uh, to edge uh, devices. Hmm. Um, and yeah, it, it's, you know, definitely when we start looking at um, uh, other solutions out there, the ability to customize your um, conflict resolver policies has been a real boon for our customers who would otherwise have to build conflict resolution and sync themselves hmm. or um, rely on what was provided by the vendor, which in many cases is uh, uh, based on very simplistic rules. And so subject to not meeting, you know, uh, every use case and uh, and providing problems. So uh, we, we, we definitely, uh, uh, our customers take advantage of this, this custom capability. Well, that's really cool. And we get asked a lot about kind of key uniques. So that's a, that's a neat unique, um, a, a neat unique. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna try to sneak in another question here because I really like this next one. I like all the questions that have been asked, but this one's a really fun one. And, and I think it's probably one that people are, have wondered quite a bit to themselves uh, when we talk about edge. So a uh, question here, why is 5G always mentioned in the context of edge computing? Are they the same thing? Hmm. Yeah, it's it's not surprising that this could be conflated to be kind of the same thing. Yeah. Um, they're but they're not. Uh, however, they are intrinsically intertwined, right? Yeah. Um, 5G requires edge computing, I think, to realize its full potential. So if you mm -hmm. think about what 5G is, it's um, it provides substantial ban benefits in you know speed and increase of bandwidth, but but these concepts only apply to the last hop. And what that means is that this is from the edge of the network to the cell tower, uh, from the cell tower to your device. But the round trip from the tower to the cloud is not on 5G, right? So it signals can get from your device to that tower faster, uh, but going from the tower to the cloud data center and back can still take um, you know, triple digit milliseconds or more depending on where you are. Yeah. And, and that can limit the benefits of 5G. It goes faster, but, you know, a speedier final hop can't make up for overall Internet latency or outages. And so this is where, um, you know, the concept of actually putting an edge data center within the 5G network comes to bear. Hmm. This is exactly what Couchbase has done with partner technologies such as AWS Wavelength partnered with Verizon 5G. Um, that's where the data center lives in that final hop. And so can take advantage of all of that extra speed and is also not dependent on the internet. So we meet all of kind of those, uh, we get past all the challenges that we've been talking about. And I always like to quote one of my favorite analysts, Dave McCarthy from IDC. He's, he said something akin to, you know, 5G can reduce network latency between the end point, uh, end point in the mobile tower but it doesn't address that distance to the data center. So, um, you know, if you deploy edge computing onto the 5G network, it minimizes that physical distance, eliminates the internet from the equation and greatly improves response times. 
Mm. So that's a great, great question. I like that. So closely connected, but not one and the same. Uh, and that's a that's an interesting nuance. And I appreciate you walking us through that because I think sometimes, you know, we forget to ask these questions. We get so caught up in the next step of it. And uh, and I'm sure there's a lot of folks out there wondering. Um, I, I wish we could keep going with this conversation, Mark, because there's so many questions that we haven't gotten to, but we are hitting the end of our time. So uh, we're going to switch you over to live chat and we will uh, make sure that any questions that don't get answered over live chat today are also followed up via email. So everyone keep those questions questions coming in. Mark, before you leave us though, if somebody out there wants to get started, wants to jump in with Couchbase, what do you recommend as that first step? Uh, try out the Capella free trial. Um, go to cloud.couchbase.com slash sign dash up. That's the URL. You go there and you can actually be uh, have your uh, environment spun up in under five minutes and uh, start taking advantage of it. That should be a first stop. And as well, uh, check out our uh, website, uh, which has loaded with information on Couchbase Mobile to learn more. Fantastic. Two great ways to get started. Thank you very much, Mark. Really appreciate you being here with us today. It's been a lot of fun. Thanks very much for having me. And uh, I had a lot of fun as well. Mm -hmm.